A scale drawing portrays a real object with a length in proportion to the length of the actual object, but reduced or enlarged by a scale factor. You may be asked to find the scale or scale factor and or calculate actual distances based on a scale drawing. Here, we can see a tennis court and a scale drawing of the same tennis court. If we want to find the scale this scale drawing was drawn at, all we need to do is find some equivalent lengths. So you can see that this six centimeters is meant to be equivalent to this 24 meters because they're both representing the length of the court. From there, we effectively set up a ratio, six centimeters to 24 meters. And you might just say, oh, well, the scale factor is four then. To go from six to 24, you times by four. But because these are in centimeters, and this is in meters, we need to convert them both to the same unit. Now it's up to you what unit you choose. You could choose to convert them both to centimeters, both to meters, or perhaps another unit if you would like. I'm gonna to choose to convert them both to centimeters, but it doesn't really matter as long as you get them both in the same unit. Then I know that there are 100 centimeters in a meter, so 24 times 100, 2,400 centimeters. From there, we just have a ratio that we can simplify down and I know that six goes into six, but also goes into 2,400. The easy way to tell it goes into 2,400 is that, you know, six goes into 24 and 2,400 is just a multiple of 24. So dividing them both by six, we get one to 400. Notice how I've got rid of the units now because there's no real need for them um, because we know that they're both in the same unit. So this is just a scale. So from there, we can find the scale factor. This is the number that you would multiply an actual dimension by to get the dimension on the scale drawing. To do that, all I'm gonna do is this divided by this. So one divided by 400. Now this is, turns into a quite a small decimal, so we'll just leave it as a fraction. So our scale factor is one over 400. So that's a scale factor. This is a scale. You could of course find this from the whips instead, as long as you're choosing equivalent lengths and not mixing lengths. So for example, if I chose to use the six and the 11 to find this scale, that wouldn't be right because I'm using a width and then using a length of the court. So they don't correspond to each other. Whereas the two widths correspond to each other and the two heights correspond to each other. If I wanted to find this a little bit quicker without doing all of this, what I could have done is just pick two of the lengths that correspond to each other. So if I pick the 2.75 and pick the 11, as long as they're in the same unit, all I need to do is divide one by the other. So I can do 2.75 in centimeters divided by 11 meters in centimeters, which is 1,100. And that just gives you one over 400 again. We can use a scale or scale factor to calculate lengths or distances when only given a scale drawing. For example, here is a scale drawing of a rug with a scale of one to 15. So if I wanted to find the actual dimensions of the rug, all I would need to do is this divided by this, but in that case, it just gives us 15, then I can multiply by that. So 10 times 15, the actual length here would be 150 centimeters on the real rug. And then doing the same thing for this, five times 15, the actual width would be 75 centimeters on the real rug. If instead we were given a scale factor, in this case, it would be one over 15, because then you take one of the real dimensions and times by this, to get you the scale drawing dimensions, all you would need to do is divide by this to go the other way. So 10 divided by a 15th gives you 150 again, or five divided by a 15th gives you 75 again. You may be asked to draw a scale drawing based off actual dimensions. Here we can see a door that is 200 centimeters tall and 80 centimeters wide, and I want to draw a scale drawing with the scale one to eight. So first step, all I need to do is divide these by eight to find the dimensions on our scale drawing. So 200 divided by eight is 25 centimeters and 80 divided by eight is 10 centimeters. From there, we have a centimeter grid just here and um, where the width and height of each square is just one centimeter. So all I need to do is pick a starting point now now it's important that you choose a point where your shape is gonna fit on the graph. If I choose to start here, right in the middle, it's probably not gonna fit, okay? Because this is gonna be quite big. Make sure you pick your first point wisely. I'm gonna choose the point here. You could pick another point, but I just know this is gonna fit on if I put it here. Then all I need to do is draw the width of our door, which should be 10 centimeters now. So in this case, 10 squares. 
So I can count that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So there's the end of this side, and I can draw the side in. Now we just need to draw the height. So I'll count up to 25. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So then I can draw that side in, which takes us to there. Because this is just a rectangle, what we can do is then just draw the top in because we know it's the same width as the bottom and then just connect the two and there's our scale drawing. We can of course add some dimensions to this. We know that this width is 10 centimeters on the scale drawing and this height is 25 centimeters on the scale drawing. If you found this video useful, why not try the topic test on our learning platform? Here you can answer a series of questions and get instant feedback on how you've done in a written solution format that explains exactly how to solve the problem.